Okay, the last two items that are included in the required activities I'm not going to click on for copyright reasons. So these are videos from Adobe.com that I would like you to click and go to Adobe.com to watch. If I play them inside YouTube, uh, my video will get flagged. Um, I don't want you to memorize these videos, I just want you to watch them kind of like for leisure to get an idea of what Photoshop can do. Um, the efficient workflow one will talk about things that you don't need to know right now and if you tried to do what they're doing in the video you're probably going to feel overwhelmed because they're talking about things that we'll learn over the course of 16 weeks and so I just want you to watch it and I just want you to say oh you could create those things in Photoshop and oh I see that this person is doing certain things that are an advantage to them as a Photoshop user but don't worry about memorizing them just kind of watch them and enjoy the videos and and get an understanding of what kind of is to come in the class then uh, to finish up module one and to finally finish up my video um, you can complete the actual requirements for this week and they are the initial response activity the profile picture and the syllabus quiz and so the initial response is I just want you to reply back that you're either comfortable with the navigation structure of the class or you're not and if you are not I don't want you to just say that. I want you to say I'm not comfortable and I have the following questions. And your instructor will check that every day throughout the first two weeks of the semester and they'll reply back. Your profile picture, I would like you to upload a profile picture so that if you're taking this course on campus, I can learn your name faster because um, I'll be able to see your face. And if you're taking it online, I'll be able to recognize you if I see you on campus. Um, the profile picture is usually a problem for, for students trying to upload who have taken previous courses. Um, you'll get a notice that says that your, your profile exceeds the data limit or something like that. They're not talking about your picture. It's, it's not your photograph that exceeds the data limit. They're saying that you have stuff saved on Canvas and that you don't have enough room to save the picture on Canvas. And if that's the case, you'll have to go to this account tab in the top left hand corner find your files and you have to delete old files. And then last but not least, I would like you to take a syllabus quiz. I know that sometimes that's painful to take, um, but in the last couple semesters we've had issues with students not understanding what's required of them and at the end of the semester being frustrated that you know they didn't know that there were things that were due every Wednesday and every Saturday and they didn't know that uh, they get 10% off on their assignments and things. And so the syllabus quiz is nine questions and all the answers can be found in my video or by reading the course syllabus um, and they shouldn't be hard questions they're just meant to pull out key information okay I'm gonna wrap up this video finally after probably an hour of you watching these videos if you have any questions you can feel free to email me Jessica at jcarn5 at bruinmail.slcc.edu even if I'm not your teacher I'm happy to help um, if it's a question specific to your course though, you really should ask your teacher. If it's a broad sweeping question about visual art and design or graphic communications, go ahead and email me. Um, if I'm not your teacher, you can email your own instructor at the email address listed on the course syllabus or through the Canvas inbox.